Hello everyone, <laughs> it's me, it's Mark, and welcome to another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. One more time, if you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so that I know everything is a-okay. Oh, Helga, thank you so much. Okay, hello, Popcorn. Alice, thank you so much. Mary, thank you. Sewu, hello, hello. Tomas, hello. Esther, hello. All right, Flavia, hello. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, Radu, hello Radu. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, hey Marion, how you doing? Let's do our toast, right? So Samuel, hello Samuel. We always, before we start, we always have a toast for good luck. Yeah, we want good luck. I want good luck. <laughs> I need good luck, all right? So, um, anyways, hey, air lady. Hello, air lady. Mwah. I hope your eye is feeling better. So, let's have our toast for my good luck. <laughs> no, for our good luck. Yes, yes. All right. So, please pick up your beverage. Vargas, hello. So, please pick up your beverage for our toast. Yeah. So, our first toast is... Of course, to the green team, yes, the supporters. You see them, their name is in green. For example, there's Marion, Tomas, Sewu, right? So they're the green team. There are many others, and they support me, and they support the channel. Because they support me and the channel, they are supporting everyone. So let's give, hey, Tetsuro's in the house, Tetsuro. So let's give a big thank you. A big toast to the green team. Yes, let's do that. So um, let's do it. All right. So thank you so much, green team. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Mm. Ah. All right. Now for our second toast. It's for you. Yes, you are here. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. No, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's give a toast to you. Let's give a toast to a fun, informative, productive, and wonderful lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. Yes, and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Yes, we do. Bottoms up. Mmm. Okay, all right, that was our toes for good luck. So we will have good luck today. We will have a good lesson today. Yes, because we had a toast. Okay, Nilo, hello. Miss Lolita, hello. Jojo, hello. Okay, I'm great. It's great to see everyone here. Monk, hello, Monk. All right, I am happy to see you guys here in the chat. And like I always say, please, use the chat, ask each other, learn from the chat. That's right. So there's lots of good practice. You can help each other and um, learn from each other. Yeah. So don't forget to utilize the chat. No, don't forget to do that. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, um, let's talk about today's lesson plan. And it's right here. Here is today's lesson plan written on this sheet of paper. We are going to do a review activity. Today is Friday. We're going to review an activity that we did on Tuesday. That was, what is it? On Tuesday, I showed you a picture. You told me what it was. Well, today I'm going to give you clues about that picture. So instead of seeing the picture, you're going to listen to clues about the picture and then tell me what it is. After that, we're going to do which one doesn't belong. I have four items, and within those four items, you're going to tell me which of the four, one of the four, doesn't belong with the others. 
right? So for example, if this is an example for those who haven't done this before. So for example, if I say blue, car, pink, purple, blue, car, pink, purple, well, which one doesn't belong? It's going to be the car, right? Because blue, pink, purple are colors and a car is a car, transportation, right? It's a motor vehicle. So car doesn't belong with the other three because the other three are colors, right? So we're going to do that. <clears throat> then we will do a conversation from my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And actually before the conversation, we will do some, we'll do a couple quizzes and extension questions and then we will do a conversation and lastly but not least we will do a ah I just dropped some cards we will do the members dictation cards right so I did not write these sentences the members wrote the sentences so the um, dictation practice will be based on our members sentences okay so we're gonna be busy we're gonna be here for two hours everyone so I hope you are comfortable I hope you are ready I hope you are feeling good I'm feeling good so let's go ahead and start oh there's Lolly hey Lolly how you doing Mwah. okay I dropped a couple cards on the ground so I need to pick them up which I just did <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and start with what is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to write it on the board. What is it? What is it? Question mark. And then the reply, it's, uh, okay, so I think all our cards today are singulars. Singular nouns. Yes, they are. And they take the, they take the um, article. Ah, okay. So I actually there are four cards. So let me write. I always do this, don't I? I write one. I usually write. I always write two. I write three, and I write four. Yeah, because there are four cards, and this is a whiteboard. And if I just put the cards on the whiteboard, they will just slide down, right? So, so I need magnets to keep the cards on the board. And I have magnets right over there. So let me get one, two, three, four. Yeah, I just got four magnets. They're in my hand right now. And they're all different colors. Yes, they're colorful magnets. So here we have a pink one. Yeah. And we have a turquoise one. Yeah. We have a purple one. Yes. And we have a red one. Yes. So we have a red magnet. We have a purple magnet. We have a turquoise magnet and a pink magnet. And we have four spaces for four cards. Four spaces for four cards. Four spaces for four cards. <laughs> so there you go. So four and four, they're different words, different meanings, but they are the same sound. Yes, four, four, four. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Card number one and the clue. Clues are, I'm going to give you a few clues, yes. <clears throat> clue one, it's hot. <laughs> clue two, we do it outside. Three. Um, it's a, it's away from the city. Yes, usually away from the city. Four, um, we do it when we are camping. Yeah. Um, you need some wood to do it. Yeah, you need wood to do it. Um, we do it outside. We do it at nighttime. We do it while we are camping. Uh, it's hot. Um, it's fun. It 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 uh, creates a nice smell. I like the smell. Mm, it, it, it's a it's nice because um, 
people sit around it, usually in a circle, because everyone, everyone wants to be um, close to it, next to it. So um, people sit in a circle and talk, and we have fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, everyone. Yeah, so summer's coming, so we got to do it, everyone. We got to, we got to, we got to, we got to go camping and have a campfire. Yeah, it's summer. This is, this is part of, like, living a nice, fun, having a good time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a good time. Let's go camping. Let's make a campfire. Let's have friends. Let's have good conversation. <laughs> I want to go camping. I want to have a campfire. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yep, you got it. All right, here we go. Number two. What is it? Number two. And the clues are, hey, Ava's in the house. Hello, Ava. Okay, some of the green team showed up. Yeah, Dr. Ramirez showed up. Yes, Ava showed up. Yes, all right. Okay. Here we go. Card number two. It is a motor vehicle. It is usually green. It is four-wheel drive. It is usually open, like it's convertible, convertible, right? So there's usually, you could um, just be in the open, right? There's no roof. You could put the roof down. Um, they're small, but they go off-road. Um, they started, they were built because of, for the military. So they started as a military vehicle, but now um, you can buy them anywhere. You can, you, well, you can go and, and buy one for yourself. You don't have to be in the military to drive one. Um, so let's see. Yeah, okay. I see some answers. I see the answers. Umesh, Asad, Radu is in the house. Okay, you got it. Yeah, well, okay, yeah. So um, actually, Lolly, yeah, okay, yeah. So Jeep or off road vehicle. Yeah, yeah. But there are many off-road, different off-road vehicles, but um, a Jeep has a special shape, a special look, right? All right, so that's card two. Here we go, card number three. And the clues are, you put it on your head. It is made to protect your head. It is used in a sport. The sport is... Um, the sport was born in America. It was founded in America. Um, this, this thing that protects your head has um, colors on it. So if your team is, if your team's color is red, this will be red. Also, usually, well, every team has a logo. And so the, your uniform color and logo will be on this. There is also um, a face protection, right? So it, it protects your head and your face, right? So your head's very important, but your face is also important, right? Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears. So, so your face is important. Your head is important. So this protects your head and face. It is used during a sport the the it is the color of the uniform with the logo on it yes you got it hey vilmar how you doing it is a football helmet yeah so american football the nfl and this is the helmet that they use to protect their head and face okay all right, all right. Oh, this is um, the face guard, right? So this is the helmet, and this is the face guard. Okay. Okay, here we go, go. Last card, card number four. <clears throat> and the clues are, 
You will see this outside. You will see this in a park. Children love playing on this. There is a ladder attached because you need the ladder to go up it. So you want to go down it, right? So the fun part is going down, not going up, but going down. So you have to go up to go down. <laughs> you have to go up to go down. You will see this in a park. Children like to play on it. I actually, sometimes I use it. <laughs> I like it, yeah. Um, some are tall and some are short. Some are big and some are um, small. Um, also, they're, you, they're also at a water park, right? So um, instead of it being metal, it's plastic and water runs down it so you can um, go with the water. You've got, okay, I see the answers right there. <laughs> Dr. Maris loves the slide, me too. A slide, yes, it's a slide. Very good, everyone. No problem, of course. You guys never have a problem with these. <clears throat> Here we go, let's review it, shall we? What is it? It's a campfire. I wanna have a campfire, how about you? What is it? It's a Jeep. I, I would like a Jeep. Um, do you have a Jeep? Anybody who has a Jeep? I don't have a Jeep, but I think it would be a fun um, car to have. Maybe a second car, right? Like a weekend car. You know, maybe it's not so good to take to work every day or drive every day. But, you know, for, for a fun time, like a nice sunny day, maybe you put the top down and, you know, you're going to the beach or you're going on a camp, camping trip. So that would be a, a nice thing to take, nice thing to have. Three, a football helmet. The, the NFL season is coming up, and so I'm looking forward to... The, the football season, the American football season. I enjoy watching um, football games. I, I have a team. My team is the Rams. I root, but there's other teams I like, but my hometown team is the Los Angeles Rams. And number four, a slide. We will see these in a park. Children use these to play on. So it's a slide, it's a helmet, or I should say it's a football helmet because you have a motorcycle helmet, you have um, a bicycle helmet, right? So there are different styles of helmets, different types of helmets, um, helmets for different purposes, right? So the purpose of this helmet is for playing football. And this is a Jeep, it's a Jeep and it's a campfire. Okay, everybody. Yes. Oh, Lolly says, yes, I have a Jeep in my dreams. Actually, Lolly, you live in the mountains. You live in the snow. So actually, a Jeep would be a good vehicle for you, right? For me, in Japan, it wouldn't be very practical. I don't need one. But, Lolly, you live in the mountains. You, it snows where you are. So a Jeep would be um, very convenient for you, wouldn't it? I have, same, me too, Ava. I have never driven a Jeep. I've been in a Jeep. Actually, when I was a kid, um, a family friend had a original, the, the military Jeep. He had an original military Jeep, and that was fun, I remember. Yeah, Dr. Maris, yeah, so the wheelies. Yeah, I had a Jeep wheelie. Oh, very good. Nice, Dr. Maris. Oh, that was cool, yeah. So you're, so Dr. Maris was a university student. She had a, a, a wheelies. So she was probably the coolest student on campus, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Maris was the coolest person on campus. So um, I'm sure... Everyone wanted to be your friend. Oh, can I ride in your Jeep? I'm sure you had many people who wanted to go for a ride with you, I'm sure. Okay, good, everyone. Very good. Oh, Radu says, in Canada, where I live, 
um, very close to Arctic Circle, so it's very cold, lots of snow. A Jeep would be very useful for Radu. Yeah. So I hope, Radu, someday you will be able to get a Jeep. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and do our next activity, shall we? Our next activity is which one doesn't belong? Which one doesn't belong? Yeah, Ava says, sometimes I see a Jeep. Me too, sometimes I see a Jeep. Um, in my town, there are people who have Jeeps, and sometimes I see one. Okay, which one doesn't belong? So remember I explained to you, you're welcome, Radu, I'm sure you will one day. Um, there, so I explained to you earlier, I gave you an example of colors and a vehicle, right? I said blue car, purple, pink, blue car, purple, purple, pink. So car doesn't belong because it's not a color because um, blue, purple, pink are colors and this is a car. So the car is the odd one out, right? So the three go together and one doesn't. <laughs> you like this? Can you? So three are colors and one doesn't, one isn't. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're going to do right now. Here are the four things. Which one doesn't belong? A dog, a rifle, a doctor, money. Wow, very different things, huh? A dog, a rifle, a doctor, money. Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A dog, a rifle, a dog, money. Which one? Which one? Ouch. Which one? Which one? Can you do that? So this, this finger isn't moving. Which one? That's hard. Ah! Which one doesn't belong? A dog, a rifle, a doctor, money. Okay. I'm going to show you the picture so you have a better idea. Here we go. We have a dog, a dog, a rifle, a doctor, money. Which one doesn't belong and why? Oh, Helga says, Money, because a hunter doesn't need it. Oh, okay, Ava, a dog because it has, it has to eat? You have to feed it, okay? So, Ava, a dog because you have to feed it. Very good, yeah. See, there's, this is a little tough, right? You have to use your imagination, and Ava... Great, yeah, Ava's um, answer is very good, right? A dog, because um, we have to feed it, right? A rifle doesn't eat. Well, a doctor, right, a doctor eats. Feeding is we have to do it for them, right? So we're, we're big, we're people, so we can do it ourselves, right? But um, if you have a dog, and the dog is not in the wild, right? So if the dog was loose in the wild, maybe the dog would hunt for itself, right? But if it's a pet, a pet dog, um, the pet dog um, relies on people to feed it, right? So um, the, the owner of the dog has to give the dog food. So we say feed. Like, so for example, we feed a baby, right? A baby can't do it by itself. So we have to give the baby food. So we say feed the baby. 
and a dog the same situation so we have to give the dog food so feed the dog so very good Helga says money because a hunter oh wait wait we did that already um, Umesh says money because it's made of paper good Uh, Radu, a doctor because he or she has completed university studies. Good. Alice, money doesn't belong because I can do anything with it. Yeah, so with money, you can do anything. You can go on a trip. You can, um, you can buy something. You can, you can go somewhere, right, with money. Oh, Radu, a dog because it has fur. Yeah, so there's lots of answers. Lolly says a rifle because there isn't an O in it, right? So dog has an O, doctor has an O, money has an O, rifle has no O. So very good, Lolly. Nito says uh, money because it's paper. Oh, Hala says rifle because it's dangerous. Radu, rifle because it only functions with bullets, yes. Tomas, money, because we can use um, a virtual type of it. Oh, I see. So virtual money. So like Bitcoin and, um, yeah, and a check and a credit card. Those are all virtual, right? They're, it's, it's not cash, right? Very good. Radu says a doctor is the only human. Very good. Say well. Mary Poppins says a rifle because I can live without it. Very good. See you guys, lots and lots of answers. And I'm, I see the more we do this, the better you get at thinking about you're using your brain differently, right? You're, you're being creative and um, actually it's a skill. You can get better at it, right? So at first it might be difficult, but the more we do it, the better you get at it. So fantastic. That I, I really love seeing your answers. Radu says a rifle because it has a trigger. So that's a trigger is what you you um, pull. It's, it's with your finger, you pull with your finger, and that's what fires the, the gun or the rifle. Ava, dog, because it has four feet. See, you guys are thinking all about these things, right? You're, you're thinking of all the little details. Nice, nice. Let's see, Lolly, a rifle, because it's made to kill. Yeah. And actually, that's my answer so very good very good that's what so when I made it I think of okay how can I use these things how can these four things go together be separate and so actually that was um, my answer right so like a rifle is used to kill but a doctor is used to heal right they they help a dog can help people right so a dog we say man's best friend because a dog can be our companion, help us, right? Like if you're blind, you can't see. So they're called a seeing eye dog. So you see, so the dog helps um, blind people, dogs. Um, also they say um, emotional support. So if some people have fears or they get really super nervous, like a, a dog can help them feel relaxed, right? And then money, of course. <laughs> money helps, right? Money can, um, you know, we, like like um, money can buy us something that we can. Um, let's say you you get a job, and if you don't have a car, maybe it's difficult for you to get to your job. But if you have money, you could buy a car, and that will help you get to work, right? So so money can help us. Doctors help us. Dogs can help, but a gun can hurt us, right? A gun is made to kill. So that's my answer. Okay, good, everyone. Oh, 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 oh. 
doctor, uh, doctor, because his pronoun is he, not it. Uh, okay, Dr. Maris, I'm not sure what you mean. So you could say like, um, she is a doctor, right? Dr. Maris is a doctor. She is a doctor. I, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly um, what you mean. Ava, money because we can use it to buy something. Yeah. Right, do a dog because it has a tail. Okay, Umesh, a dog because it only hunts. Tomas, a dog, it has a tail, yeah. Vilmar says, what does a, does a tail dog do? What does a tail dog do? I don't know, is that a quiz? <laughs> is that a quiz, Vilmar? Uh, Okay, let's see. Sewu, thank you. <laughs> okay. O okay. Money because it's uncountable noun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a doctor is a proper... Well, it's a common noun, but okay, yeah, and then rifle, dog. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, yep, yeah, Tomas. Okay, good, everyone. Let's go to a second one, number two, okay? Here we go. Which one doesn't belong? Set number two. Here we go. The four things are a basket, a truck, a computer, and a credit card. One more time. A basket, a truck, a computer, a credit card. Which one doesn't belong and why? One more time. A basket, a truck, a computer, a credit card. Which one doesn't belong and why? I'm going to show you the pictures so you can see. Okay. A basket, a truck, a computer, a credit card. Which one doesn't belong and why? A basket, a truck, a computer, a credit card. Which one doesn't belong and why? Okay. Oh, okay, Dr. Maris. A doctor pronoun, he or she, the other is it. I see. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I understand now. Sorry, Dr. Maris. Yep. That's, yep. Good, 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 good. Radu says money because you can you can bribe people. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Everybody's honest. No bribing. Don't take a bribe. Please do not take a bribe. Okay, Tomas says credit card because you can pay with it. Hello, Kurt. Adam, how you doing? Radu says, a truck because it has wheels. Ava, computer because it needs electricity. Radu, a truck because it has the largest storage space. Helga, a computer because it is, it is a tool for work and things for fun. Tomas, a truck because it makes pollution. Nito, truck because more. Oh, move every, oh, okay, Nito says, a truck because it can move anywhere. It can move anywhere. It can move anywhere. That's right. Umesh, computer, because it needs electricity. Lolly, a basket, because there isn't a C in it. Truck has a C. Computer has a C. Credit card has a C. Basket has no C. <laughs> Air Lady. Uh, I get better and better. Okay, good. So Air Lady had um, eye surgery. So earlier I said, oh, I hope your eye is feeling better. And she says, 
it is. It's getting better and better. So good to good to know, Air Lady. Ava, a basket because we can see what we have in it. Yes. Mary says a credit card because I can put it in my wallet. You can put the credit card in a wallet for sure. Lolly. A basket because it's a container. Radu, credit card because it has several combinations of digits on it. Yes, the, your credit card number. <laughs> uh, Alice, a credit card doesn't belong because it can buy anything. Say a computer because you can join Mark's live stream. Oh, you know, that's a great answer, Sewu. Mwah, nice one, Sewu. I like your sentence. I like your sentence. Cheers, Sewu. <laughs> we need computers to be here, right? You need a computer to be here with me or a smartphone, right? But that's a computer, right? Smartphone is a, a little computer, isn't it? Okay. Okay, oh, right, do a basket because it has handles. Yeah, anywhere. That's right, Nito. A truck because it can move anywhere. Good. All right, Ava, a truck because it has four wheels, right? Dr. Maris, basket because we use it. Yeah, okay, so a basket because. It doesn't use electricity. Any kind of electricity. Let me see. Dr. Maris, basket because we don't use any kind of electric. In okay, so a basket doesn't use any kind of electricity. Well, credit card doesn't use electricity either. Credit card because it's smart electric tool, Samuel says. Uh, Hala says computer because it works on a net, on the net, right? The internet. Mary says basket, we put anything into it, inside it. Tomas truck because it can transport things with it. Cheers, say. One more time. Cheers. Oh, uh, we say cheers, you have to have a drink, right? A truck, it can drive you anywhere, says Lolly. All right, all right. Now, I'm going to tell you my answer. I didn't, see, no one said my answer. I, haven't, I didn't see my answer. My answer is basket because it doesn't belong with the other three because the other three are used for um, internet shopping, right? So if you buy something online, online shopping, I should say, online shopping. So you, so you, you need a computer, right? You need a credit card and you need, it needs a truck to deliver the thing you bought online, right? So my mic here, I have a mic right here. I bought this online. So I was on my computer. I found the mic I wanted. I had to put in my credit card number to purchase it. And a truck brought it to my house. <laughs> so no basket, right? If you go into a supermarket, you go into a store, you need a basket to put your things in. But when you're doing online shopping, no basket, right? You just use a credit, or you use your computer, credit card, and a truck brings it to you. That is my answer. Okay, so very good, everyone. Um, let me. I'm going to put the date today, so I don't forget that we did it. So I need a pencil right here. Sorry, I'm. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Okay, and today, today's date is June 18th, so I'm going to put 618, 
618. Okay, that shows that we did it. So anyways, until next week, right? We'll do the next ones next week, but that was which one doesn't belong. Okay, okay. Actually, I want to do, I'm looking at the clock. Hmm. I want to do one real quick, okay? One, I have a problem. I have a problem. So I want you to um, um, fix my, or solution. Give me a solution, okay? So I have a problem. I want you to give me a solution. So let's call this problem solution. I have a problem, and I need a solution, okay? And so you're going to give me a solution. All right, so this is problem solution. And my problem is, I, if, I hope you can help me. I hope you can help me. Yes, Ava, thank you very much. <laughs> my problem is I keep getting spam in my inbox. My problem, I keep getting spam in my inbox. I'm sad. I'm very sad. <laughs> One more time. My problem is I keep getting spam in my inbox. What is the solution, please? I keep getting spam in my inbox. So can you help me? Can you can you give me some pointers? Can you, can you, do you have any solutions for me? I keep getting spam in my inbox. What is the solution, please? Please tell me. I keep getting spam in my inbox. Yep, yeah, Radu's always got the perfect answer, huh? Radu says, delete your email address. Ah. Oh then how I need an email address. That's very important. That is like essential for me. Helga says, you should improve your email box settings. Oh, okay. That's good. Lolly says, um, change your inbox. <laughs> Bill Moore says, is it Gmail? Uh, no, it's not Gmail. Tomas says, I have a problem with my inter internet provider because I pay for one gigabyte per second contact, but they only give me 300 megabytes. Oh, that's a big problem, Tomas. I say, Tomas, you need to switch your internet provider. Get a new one. Okay, Ava says, what is inboxes? So um, when... Okay, everyone, if you have an email address, you have an inbox. So that means inbox is just um, the email in your address. So the email that comes to you. So your, e your inbox is the email that comes to you. So inbox Okay, the inbox is okay, the, the email that comes to you. Right? So if I send you, if I send you, so, okay, inbox is like a mailbox, right? If you think of mailbox. So, okay, inbox is for your email, where, where a mailbox is for your letters. Mailbox for your letters. And inbox for your email. Right? So in your house, you have a mailbox. And so the, the postman or postwoman brings the mail to you, puts your mail puts the, the letters and the mail into your mailbox, right? 
your inbox is where people send you an email and it comes to you and then you open your computer and you check your inbox so that you're checking your email. Okay, right, to send emails back to the spam emails so your computer can get hacked afterwards. Good advice, Radu. <laughs> Radu always has a good solution. Air Lady, sad call for the enterprise to explain your pro Okay, so Air Lady says, so call the, the people sending the spam Usually they don't have a telephone. Samuel, it's better to uninstall your app and install the new version again. Marcos, hello. Okay, welcome. Hi and bye, Marcos. <laughs> Marcos stopped by to say hello and maybe he has to get back to work soon. Ava, it is a big problem. I get many spams too, and I don't know what I have to do. Yeah, so actually, spamming used to be worse, but I think I think it's getting better with with our, I think the the um, our email providers, you know, like Gmail or if you have. If you use Google, or if you use, um, let's say, Microsoft, I think they're getting better at detecting spam. Yeah, Radu, I don't see those anymore. Actually, I, actually, I don't have much. I'm just. This is just for practice. I, I don't get too much spam. I don't get too much spam. It's not so bad for me. Yeah, and then you put, like, you get spam, and you put that in your junk. You put that in your, um, like, your junk box. You have, like, your inbox, and then you have, like, your junk box, right? And so if you put those spam into your junk box, then it will recognize, okay, the same address or similar, and it will just keep putting it into the, to the junk box. And so... The important thing to do is once you get spam, put that spam into your junk box. That way, your provider will recognize that those types of emails, right? And so then, um, then it'll start putting those into the junk box, and you don't even see it. So that's my advice for you: is if you get spam, put that. Don't delete it put it into the junk box. So the, your computer, your, your internet, provide, your, your email provider will recognize, okay, that's junk. So the next one that comes, it'll go into the junk. So you don't even see it. Yeah, air lady, throw out your computer. <laughs> that, that's, that is a, a solution for sure. <laughs> I don't think it's a good solution, but it is a solution for sure. Yeah, throw out the computer, and then you don't have you don't have junk mail. You don't have spam, right? <laughs> okay, everyone. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, thank you for your solutions, everyone. Thank you for your solutions. Okay, let's go to our next activity, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, let's go to a quiz yeah so we're going to now do a quiz yeah so um this is my book 50 very short conversations this is book one there are three books they are available at amazon.com all right so if you want one you can go to amazon.com and order your own copy yes you can the link is in the descriptions below all right so Let's do a quiz, all right? So let's go to page, 
page, where is it? Right here, page 42. And if you don't have the book, that's okay because I'm going to write it on the board, okay? So the quiz is, I'm going to write it. And so you're going to give me the, um, the, 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 the best answer, okay? So I'm going to give you three choices and you give me the best of the three. So here we go. Here is a quiz. Quiz. Page 42. Okay, here we go. Okay, first I will first I will read it to you and then I will write it on the board. Here we go. Come out with us. You'll mm better. Come out with us. You'll mm better. Is it no feel do? Okay, one more time. Come out with us. You'll mm better. You'll mm better. Is it no feel do? Come out with us. You'll mm better. No feel do. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, okay, you guys are doing great. So is it, you'll know better, you'll feel better, you'll do better. Come out with us, you'll know better. Come out with us, you'll feel better. Come out with us, you'll do better. Okay, yeah, so come out with us. Right? Come out with us. We're, we're going to go have a barbecue. We're going to go have dinner. Come out with us. We're going to have some drinks. Come out with us. We're going to have a campfire. <laughs> okay? Come out with us. You're better. Okay? So, let's say, okay. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm tired. Okay. Come out with us. You'll mm, better. No feel do. And I see feel. All right. Yep. So that is the that's the best one. So you'll feel better. Come out with us. You'll feel better, right? So don't, don't stay home. If you're sad, don't stay home by yourself. Come out with us. Have, have you know, have, be with people, right? Um, talk with people. You, your, your spirits will come up. Your, your attitude will be better. Your, your energy will go up, right? You will feel better. Okay, good one. That was actually quiz number 27. Okay, so our next quiz is, ready? Here we go. This is actually in the book. This is 28. This is quiz number 28 in the book. Okay, here we go. Wanna come? Mm. Wanna come? Mm. Wanna come? Wanna come? Wanna come? All right, and so three choices, over, in, out. One more time, the three choices, over, in, out. Over, in, out, over, in, out. Wanna come, wanna come, wanna come. Over, in, out, over, in, out. Over, in, out. Wanna come? Wanna come? Yeah, okay, yep. Wanna come? Question mark. Wanna come? Is it over, in, out? Over, in, or out? 
over in or out over in or out over in or out over in or out <laughs> I have some beer, Lolly. Want to come over? Ah, uh, Tomas. Tomas. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Want to come over? Yeah, I do. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monk, yeah. Want to come over? Yeah, I do. 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 Want to come over? Yeah, I do. So, want to come over? Yeah, I do. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So, okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more, shall we? Here is 29. Okay, that's, that's, that's. That's, that's, that's. All right, so our three choices. So it, this is very short, very short. That's. Okay, so here we go. The three choices are good, bad, okay. Good, bad, okay. Well, okay, wait, we need to know the context. We need to know the context. So hold on. Okay. So the context, right? So all three are okay depending on the context. Okay, the situation. And this is the situation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the, the conversation was um, the, the, this person spilt. Spilt. Okay? And he says, I'm sorry, and she says, that's, all right? So we need the context. We need, we need to know the situation, right? Because all three are okay, right? You could say, that's good, that's bad, that's okay, right? But in this situation, right, someone spills on your carpet, someone um, spills on your table, someone spills, right? So someone... Um, spill right so for example this my coffee is in my cup and it should be in my cup right but sometimes there's a, a mistake or accident and it and the coffee comes out and goes on the floor right and so oops so that's a mistake right and the person says that's that's good <laughs> that's bad that's okay is it that's, that's good, yeah, spill on my carpet, yes, good, good. Or, that's bad, that's bad, or, that's okay, that's okay. All right, so yeah, it's okay, that's okay. So that is the, in this situation, it's the correct response, right? That's okay, so that is correct. All right, yeah, good, Helga. That's okay, don't worry, exactly, good, good. So in this situation, Helga, it means don't worry, that's right. And Ava, that's right, wanna come over is an invitation. That's right, Ava, wanna come over? Do you want to come to my house? It's an invitation, that's right, Ava, that is correct. Wanna come over? It's an invitation. I call you on the phone, hey Ava, I'm watching a game. Want to come over? Ava, there's, there's a movie on. Want to come over? Ava, I just made dinner. Want to come over? Ava, I have some, I have some fine wine. Want to come over? Okay, so it's an invitation. That's right. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so that is good for the quiz. I'm looking at the clock. I have to be careful of the time. Remember, we have to do the, the bell curve, the fun. Got to, got to keep track of the fun. Yeah, I don't want to go peak fun. No, I want to change B 
before peak fun, right? We want to get the want to keep the fun moving. All right. So next is a conversation. Okay. So let's do the conversation. So this was a quiz, but now we're going to do a conversation. And today's conversation is where is it? Ah, supermarket. Yes. Okay, so here someone is going to the supermarket. She is going to the supermarket. Yeah, that's where she... Where are you going? I'm going to the supermarket. Where are you going? I'm going to the supermarket. Where are you going? I'm going to the supermarket. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you going? I'm going to the supermarket. Okay, here we go. Here is the conversation. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold on, hold on, wait. Are we having problems? Alice says, why my internet doesn't work? I don't know. Is I need a real quick, is everything okay? On D, am I, is my live stream okay? Is my connection okay with you? Alice is having problems. Are there anybody else having problems? Everything's okay. Okay, good, Lolly. Good. Because sometimes, like, I'm looking on my screen, I see green. And so that means I have a good signal. Everything's okay on my side. Thank you. Okay, okay, say, okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Conversation. I'm, oh, let me count down. Five, four, okay, good, good. Thank you everyone for saying okay. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to the supermarket. Get some milk. Take a look in the fridge. We need tomatoes. Anything else? No, that should do it. Here we go, one more time. Okay, good, Alice. Good, okay, so Alice is, her computer is working. Here we go. I'm going to the supermarket. Get some milk. Take a look in the fridge. We need tomatoes. Anything else? No, that should do it. Okay, here we go. One more time. Three's a charm, yes? I'm going to the supermarket. Get some milk. Take a look in the fridge. We need tomatoes. Anything else? No, that should do it. Okay, I will write it on the board. I will write it on the board. <gasps> Oh no, the whiteboard is full and I'm going to have to erase, but before I erase, I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard so you can check it out anytime you want to, yeah? So I need to get my phone, my camera, yeah, right here, and I'm going to take a picture of the whiteboard because I don't want to erase before I take a picture, yeah? So I want, I want to take a picture because I want you to be able to check it out anytime you want. I will put the picture on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, so that way you can check it out anytime you want to. All right, you can't see me, but you can hear me. Let's count down. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I took the picture and I will now erase it and I will write the conversation on the board. That way we can practice it together. We can practice pronunciation. We can practice speed. We can practice the conversation together. Four conversation practice yeah so I'm erasing the board 
Yes, I am. Okay. We did these. I took a picture so you can go back and have a look if you want to, if you care to do so. If it fancies you, if it, if it turns you on, if it makes you feel better, you can check it out anytime. Okay. Now I'm going to write the conversation on the board so we can practice it. All right, so I'm going to start right here. Okay, so we got A. A says, I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the supermarket. Supermarket. B. Get some milk. Get some milk. A says, take a look in the fridge. Take a look in the fridge. B says, we need tomatoes. We need tomatoes. A says, anything else? Anything else? B says, <laughs> says, I should, says, says, no, that should do it. That should do it. No, that should do it. No, that should do it. Get some ice cream, says Helga. Okay, yeah, chocolate. Right now, I'm not, right now I'm on a diet. So I'm not eating anything. I'm not eating any ice cream right now. I'm on a diet for summer, right? During the winter, I got fat, so I'm trying to lose my belly fat. So I'm on a steak and broccoli diet right now. <laughs> Anyways, let's practice. Okay, let's go over the uh, pronunciation, shall we? Let's do the, the pronunciation. Here we go. I'm going to the supermarket. 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 Get some milk. Get some milk. Get some milk. Get some milk. Take a look in the fridge. 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 We need tomatoes. We need tomatoes. We need tomatoes. No tomatoes. We need tomatoes. Anything else? Anything else? No, that should do it. No, that should do it. No, that should do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, so, okay, okay. Um, one more time, pronunciation. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the supermarket. Get some milk. Get some milk. Get some milk. Take a look in the fridge. 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 We need tomatoes. We need tomatoes. We need tomatoes. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No, that should do it. No, that should do it.
No, that should do it. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Now let's talk about the meaning. Okay, let's talk about the meaning. Okay, so it's situation, right? So the situation is uh, this person is going to the supermarket, right? This person is going to the supermarket. So before going, uh, she says to somebody, I'm going to the supermarket, right? That's where I'm going. Usually we tell people in our house where we're going, right? So we don't just leave, right? We say, oh, I'm going to work. I'm going to the park. I'm going to the store. I'm going to um, pick up the kids. I'm going to um, go for a walk, right? So we usually tell people in the house where we are going, right? So she's saying, oh, I'm going to the supermarket. And then someone in the house says, get milk, get some milk, right? Because there's no milk. And so uh, B, B saying, you know, don't forget, we need milk. Get some milk, get some milk. Now, milk is uncountable, so we use some, right? And so that's just like, you know, it could be one carton or two cartons, right? So it, it's a, it's a, it's an estimation, right? Get some milk. It's an estimation. Um, so milk is uncountable, so we use some. And then, um, then A says, take a look in the fridge. So anything else, right? So um, take a look in the fridge. So you want milk. Do you want something else, right? So now B is going to the kitchen, opening the fridge, the refrigerator, right? Opening the refrigerator and looking in the refrigerator. And so now B is looking in the refrigerator. Oh, B says, oh, there's no tomatoes, right? We need tomatoes. So I don't see tomatoes in the refrigerator. I do not see tomatoes in the refrigerator. So we need tomatoes, right? Because we use tomatoes every day. We use tomatoes for a salad. We use tomatoes for sandwiches. We use tomatoes for pasta, right? We use tomatoes every day. So we need tomatoes. And then um, A says, anything else? So milk, tomatoes, anything else? Anything else? How about eggs? How about yogurt? How about steak? Right? Anything else? And then B says, no, that should do it. That, that, I think we're good, right? I see, I see yogurt, I see lettuce, I see bread, I see meat, right? I, we got it, we got it, we're good, we're good. We just need milk and tomatoes, right? So we're good, we got everything. That should do it, that should do it. That means like, like finished. Right, so if you're like washing your car, you finish, oh, that should do it. I'm finished washing the car. Um, you're vacuuming, vacuuming, ah, I'm finished. That should do it, right? Um, I told you, I told you, uh, milk and tomatoes, ah, that should do it, right? I think we're good. I think we don't need anything else. That's good, right? We, we are good. Everything is okay. That should do it. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, all right. So let's now practice the conversation together, shall we? So let's, let's role play. I will be A and you're B. A, B, A, B, okay? So I will say A and you will say B, okay? So let's do it, shall we? Okay, let's count down. Here we go. Five. Wait, wait, Dr. Morris, Mark, are you fighting to middle age spread? Oh, yes. <laughs> I am fighting the middle age spread. Yes, I am. So, yep. So it's time for me to 
to slim down a little. <laughs> so that's right, Dr. Madison. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. A, B, A, B. Count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to the supermarket. Take a look in the fridge. Anything else? Okay. So I'll get I'll get tomatoes and milk. Bye. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it again. I'm A, you're B. A, B, A, B. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to the supermarket. Take a look in the fridge. Anything else? Okay, milk and tomatoes. I'm out of here. Bye. Okay. Here we go. Third time's the charm. Yes, it is. Count down. Five, four, three. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you, Tomas. A little, I just, a few kilos. Yeah? Just, just a few kilos. I'm good. And actually, um, Tomas, I've been every night eating steak and broccoli, and actually, I'm feeling better. So actually, I have more energy now. So even, I think it's just, a, a it, it's good for my body, I think. <laughs> it's good for, it's good for me. I feel good. It's not like, and I don't feel hungry. Um, I'm feeling good eating. So breakfast, I have oatmeal. Lunch, I usually have like some kind of noodles or a sandwich. And dinner, beef and um, broccoli. And it's, I don't know, I feel good. I feel good. Okay, here we go. Third time, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to the supermarket. Take a look in the fridge. Anything else? Okay, milk and tomatoes. I'm off to the supermarket. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's switch, yeah? So you are A, I'm B. A, B, A, B. Okay, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Get some milk. We need tomatoes. No, that should do it. Okay, good, good, good. All right, here we go. Second time, countdown. You are A, I'm B. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Get some milk. Oh, we need tomatoes. No, that should do it. Okay, third's a charm. Three's a charm. Here we go. Count down. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Get some milk. We need tomatoes. No, that should do it. Yeah, all right. Good practice, everyone. Good, good, good. Okay, there's a question. Let's see. What's fighting to the middle mean? Well, fighting, so the middle spread. So um, right here. So you have top, bottom, and the middle, and spread, <laughs> getting, going out. Like, like you're making bread, and you put the dough in a ball, and then you start spreading the dough out, and it gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> so bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Let's see. Maybe Mark had it. A protein. Yeah, so, so protein is very important. Yes, yes. Steak. Steak is a great source of protein. Okay, okay, good. Let's, um, yeah, so I think this is good. Um, actually, I'm looking at the clock. Let's, here we have our conversation. 
And then we have some extension right here. And the extension practice, get some, do we need? So get some. So I want you to tell me, okay, I'm going to the supermarket. So get some milk, right? Get, get some milk. How about, what, what else? So please tell me, what, what should I get at the supermarket? What should I get at the supermarket? What should I get at the supermarket? Yeah, Alice, I am not skipping meals. I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I am skipping snacks. So I am skipping snacks. Oh, of course, Lolly loves her frozen pizza. Yes, get some frozen pizza because Lolly loves frozen pizza. She loves her frozen pizza. Get some beers. All right, say I'll get some beers. Of course, I'll get some beers. Get some bread, eggs, cheese. <laughs> get some bread, eggs. Whoops, 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 whoops. Get some bread, egg. Ah, oh, why can't I write the G? Why? Eggs and cheese. All right, I'll do it. I'll get some bread, cheese, and eggs. Get some oranges, says Monk. All right, Monk, get some oranges. I will. I'll get some oranges for sure. I like oranges. Get some bread. Get some popcorn. Yeah, I like popcorn. Okay, good idea. Get some popcorn. Sounds delicious. Get some yogurt, Flavio. Yes, for sure. I'll get some yogurt. Will do, will do. Dr. Maris, yes. So Radu needs pineapple for his pizza. Yeah, get some pineapple. Get some pineapple for Radu, okay. I'll do it. I'll get some pineapple for Radu. Yes, I will. Okay, get some bread and chocolate. Okay, Samuel, I'll get some chocolate. I get, I got bread on the list. I'll get some um, chocolate. I'll do that. So this is our, this is the shopping list, yeah? Okay, that's the shopping list. And I'll get some chocolate for sure. Whiskey, Tomas wants whiskey. All right, I'll get Tomas some whiskey. Okay, Tomas, you got your whiskey. It's on the list. Okay, water. Okay, Amar wants some water. That's on the list. Water. That's on the list. I need, I need a truck to bring all this food back. I think I need a, a, I think I need a truck. Radu wants honey for his pizza. So Radu wants um, honey and pineapple. Okay. You got it, Radu. Get your, I'll get your honey and pineapple and we'll put it on the frozen pizza, shall we? Yeah, okay. Oh, broccoli and steak, of course. Yeah, we want broccoli and steak. Poor. Sure. Oh, Radu wants some chocolate too. Okay, we got chocolate right here, Radu. So get chocolate, honey, pineapple, and then the frozen pizza, and that's for you. So this will just be cheese pizza, okay? That way we can put the pineapple and honey and chocolate on it for you. Cheese, okay, we got cheese right here. We got cheese. We got the cheese. Okay, ah, uh, cabbage. Esther wants some cabbage. Okay, 
Got it. Got some cabbage. Oh, we need onion. Oh, um, we need onion for, for lolly too, yeah. We need some, what was it? Onion. That's for, for lolly onion. Onions for eggs. Okay, we got eggs right here on the list. Uh, jam. Okay, Samuel wants some jam. You got it. Got some jam. Beef. Steak. Well, that's, that's beef right there. We got beef. Got eggs. Ah, green peppers. Okay, we got green peppers. Okay. Asparagus. Oh, I love asparagus. Okay, we got asparagus. Wow, we're getting a big, a big shopping list here. Potatoes. Okay, potatoes. Okay, we'll make French fries with the potatoes. Toilet paper. Yeah, we need toilet. That's important. Okay, throw the paper. Okay. All right. Exactly. Yeah. Some. Okay. Um, we could use some with um, with plural. Okay. So good. Good question, Amar. So we we I said some. So we use some with uncountable and plurals. Good, good, good question. So, some, put this here. Okay, so, some, we use uncountable nouns and plural nouns. Okay, so, I've had, so, for example, um, green peppers, some green peppers, okay? So peppers, we're going to get like two, three, four. So some is basically a random amount, like not one, two, three. We're just saying some. So, so you can say, oh, get three cookies or get five cookies. No, get some cookies, okay? So, so some is a random number or like a random amount like a a non-specific amount so just just grab some just take take some so i'm not giving you a certain number just not not a a, a number just take you just decide you you decide, okay? You get some milk, maybe one or two cartons, right? I don't know. Get some apples. I don't know, three or four apples. Get get some get some broccoli. I don't know, like a few, you know, a few a few trees, right? Uh, get some popcorn. Okay, yeah, I'll get one pack or two packs, right? I'm not giving you a a certain, I'm not giving you a specific number. I'm not giving you a specific number. Yeah, like get some candy. So I'm just gonna like, oh, I'm just, I'm gonna use my eyes, right? I'm gonna use my eyes. Gifts, I'm, I'm not, like gifts, presents. Uh, get some rice, get some mineral water, right? So I'm not, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm not giving you a special number. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, actually, I, okay, so Sebu says, Mark will be busy to deliver. I'm not going to deliver. You have to come and get it, okay? So, thank you, Sebu. So, this is good. So, 
This is, I'm going to go to the supermarket. I'm going to buy this, okay? But you need to come and pick it up, okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to bring it to you, right? Because there's too many people. It's going to take me too much time. So you guys have to come to my house to get it, okay? So I will buy it, okay? It's on me. So the, 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 the groceries are on me. I will buy the groceries, but you have to come and pick it up, okay? So I'll buy it for you, but you have to come and pick it up, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to deliver. You have to come and pick it up. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't want to do that, Radu. I don't. Actually, actually, when I was a university student, my part-time job was delivering pizza. So I do have experience delivering. I used to deliver pizza. So that, that, and I was good. I was pretty good at delivering pizza, I think. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. All right. So that was the book. Yeah, we, we did the conversation and then we, we practiced a pattern, get some, right? So here we have, there's actually a few patterns here, right? There's a few patterns. We have, I'm going to, right? So you can say, I'm going to the supermarket. I'm going to the library. I'm going to the park. I'm going to school. I'm going to work. I'm going to the office, right? So there's a pattern I'm going to. And then here's a pattern, get some. Right? So get some milk, get some water, get some broccoli and steak, get some cabbage, get some onions. How about onions? Get some jam, get some green peppers, get some asparagus, get some potatoes, get some toilet paper, get some frozen pizza, get some beers, get some bread, eggs and cheese, get some oranges, get some popcorn, get some yogurt, get some pineapple and honey for radu. Get some chocolate. Get some whiskey. Okay, so get some. All right. Now, uh, let's see another pattern. Oh, we need. There we go. We need. Okay, so we need tomatoes. Oh, get some because we need it, right? So we're getting some because we need it. We're getting some because we need it. So we can say, we need water. We need water. Okay, I want you to say this with me, okay? We need water. We need broccoli and steak. We need cabbage. We need onions. We need jam. We need green peppers. We need asparagus. We need potatoes. We need toilet paper. We need frozen pizza. We need beers. We need bread, eggs, and cheese. We need oranges. We need popcorn. We need yogurt. We need honey and pineapple for radu. We need chocolate. We need whiskey. <laughs> okay, good. So there we go. There's a pattern we need and um, okay so those are like the important patterns right I'm going to get some we need I'm going to get some we need okay very good everyone all right so now let's go to our members only dictation cards woohoo here we go dictation cards that means you need a pencil. You need paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine cards. And our members today, our sentences were written by 
Larissa, Rita, Dr. Ramirez, Sewu, Anna, A for Anna, Miley, Ava, Marin, Lolly, Larissa. Okay, okay, so those are our dictation cards. Oh, oh, the topic is coop up, coop up, coop up, coop up. Let me write that on the board, coop up. Where am I going to write it? Where am I going to write it? Okay, I'm going to write it here somewhere. I'm going to try to do it coop up. Okay, that means in a small area. Okay, so in a small area, coop up, coop up, in a small area. And we're going to do, uh, let's see, dictation, then shadow. Then pronunciation, and then quiz. Okay, so we're gonna have dictation practice, shadowing practice, pronunciation practice, and a quiz. So lots of good practice for you. Okay, coop up. In a small area. In a small area. Marion says we need vinegar. Okay, Vilmar, yeah, coop up. No, not coop. C O O P. Coop up. Yeah, so in a small space. In a small space. Small area. Okay, here we go. Eight, nine cards. Yeah, nine. Okay, some are long, some are short. Some are long sentences, some are short sentences. So we have a variety of sentences. Yes, we do. A variety. Because there are a variety of people. Okay, Radu. So on Tuesdays, I do it, right? So you're getting all the sentences from me, one person. But on Fridays, you're getting sentences from nine, today, nine people. So a variety of sentences because there are a variety of people, right? So that's good for you. Good practice for you. Okay, let's do it. Hello, Roselli. Let's count down to dictation. So please get a pencil and paper ready. Get a pencil and paper ready and write down these sentences. And I will say each sentence three times. You will not see the sentence. You will not see the picture. So it's a challenge. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number one. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Yeah, them are cranky. Card number two. People in prison are cooped up. People in prison are cooped up.
People in prison are cooped up. Okay, card number three. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. Four. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. Five. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Number six. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. Okay, number seven. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. Okay, number eight. The room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years.
Okay, number nine, last card. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. That was dictation. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Okay, now it's shadow time. So now we will practice speaking, right? So this is speaking practice. And we will, we will say the sentences three times like before. Then I will show you the card. You will see the sentence. You will see the picture, and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So it's time for shadowing. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. So that's, this is Anna, A for Anna. So cranky is like children and their they're acting badly, right? Crying, screaming, so the cranky, like, well, no, 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 no. Not just, okay, not just kids. So cranky could be anybody. So you're, you're, you're short-tempered, you're not feeling good, you're, um, yeah, so you're, you're upset, you're short-tempered, you get angry easily. So like cranky, so not feeling good, right? You're, you're feeling maybe a little angry, anxious, all right? So the kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day, right? So kids need to go out, run, right? They need to play. If they're like inside a small space, they're going to get cranky. Okay, card number, yeah, bad mood. Yes, good, good, Lolly, thank you. People in prison are cooped up. People in prison are cooped up. People in prison are coop, cooped up. People in prison are cooped up. This is Ava's card. Yeah, so people in prison, they're in a small space, right? Small area. They're cooped up. Okay, three. Yeah, naughty kids. So we say, uh, naughty kids, Vilmar. Naughty kids, so acting badly. Number three. Cranky, the act of, weird, no, no, bad mood. So, well, uh, not, not weird, but um, bad mood. Okay, three. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. In intensive farming, animals are cooped up in tight cages. Okay, this is Miley's sentence. So, Intensive farming, meaning they're, it's like a, a, a factory, like factory farming, right? So you might, I, you know, maybe you hear factory farms, right? So th that means they're, like, they're not in nature, they're not free, they're not in the wild. They're, they're, they're cooped up in cages on a farm. And that could be, say, you can say intensive farming, or you can say 
factory farming. Number four. <laughs> Mary's Mary. Thanks, Ava, for short sentence. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, number four. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. Oh, oh, Walla, I live in the USA. Can I know what time you do live streams? Yes, Walla, I'll, I'll tell you. Hold on a sec. Hold on, Walla, I, I will tell you. Hold on. Okay, this is Larissa's sentence. Now, I forgot the R, so my mistake. So this is my mistake, so there's no R. Okay, I don't like when birds R, R, R. I didn't put the R. I don't like when birds are cooped up. Okay, so we need the R. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. This is Larissa. I don't like when birds are cooped up. I like to hear them sing in the wild. Okay, number five. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two weeks because of a snowstorm. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Tomas, thank you. Mwah. Thank you, Tomas. Okay, Walla, check it out. Tomas wrote when I do live stream. Also on Saturdays too. Lately I've been doing Saturdays as well. 10 a.m. on Saturdays too. Can, Tomas, can you write that in the chat? Um, lately on Saturdays. Um, last winter I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Last winter, I was cooped up in my tiny apartment for two days because of a snowstorm. Okay, so for two days. F-O-R. For two days. F-O-R. For two days. Okay, here we... Oh, Lolly. Sorry, sorry. This is Lolly's sentence. Maybe that's true, right? Because Lolly lives in the mountains, so... Maybe that is true. Okay, number six. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. Okay, Walla, I, I hope to see you again, Walla. I hope you come back every week, Walla. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. This is from Marion. Marion. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. Okay, here we go, number seven. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. This is from Rita. I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. So maybe, so there's a rainstorm. And so, so Rita doesn't want to get out because she'll get super wet. She will get drenched. So she's cooped up in her car while it's raining. It's pouring rain. I don't have an umbrella, no umbrella. So I will stay in my car until the rain finishes. <laughs> I will stay in my car until the rain stops. 
So I'm cooped up in my car. It's raining now. Oh, okay, sus. Hey, Mike. Mike Hawk. Happy birthday. Here we go. Happy birthday to Mike Hawk. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mike Hawk. Happy birthday to you. Yay. And many more. And many more. Okay. Thank you, sus. And um, Mike Hawk. I'm happy you are here with me. All right. Thank you, Sus. Yeah, Tetsuro, get soaked. Yeah, so Rita is in her car. She doesn't want to get out because it's pouring rain. She doesn't have a, her umbrella. If she gets out, she'll be soaked. She, she will be drenched. Manome, yes, thank you for that. So. Mike Hawk's birthday. So everyone wish Mike Hawk a happy birthday, please. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number eight. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. The Room is a movie that presents one family cooped up for years. So I don't know that movie. This is Dr. Emeris. I, I don't know that movie, The Room, but it sounds like, ah, I know I saw Panic Room. That was Jodie Foster, and that was called. Um, Panic, panic room. That was with Jodie Foster. So she was cooped up in a panic room. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a horror movie, doesn't it? Also, do you know Saw? They're cooped up, right? Um, Saw is a horror movie where people are cooped up in a room. Yeah, scary. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number nine. Thank you everyone for wishing Mike Hawk a happy birthday. That's very friendly of everyone. That's very nice of you all. Okay, here we go. Number nine. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. No, don't do that. This is Sewu's sentence. Don't coop yourself up in the house all day. Don't do that. This is Sewu. Yeah, get out and play. Get out, enjoy the weather. Enjoy nature, yes. Get some exercise. Don't coop yourself up. No, no. Get out, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, get some exercise. Okay, good, good, good. All right, all right. That was shattering. Good job. Okay, let's do some pronunciation practice. Then we will have a quiz. Okay, here we go. Let's look at some key words here. Cranky. Cranky. The kids are cranky. The kids are cranky. The kids are cranky. Ah. True, Dr. Ramirez, true. People in prison. People in prison. People in prison. People in prison. Intensive farming. Intensive farming. Intensive farming. Intensive farming. Sing in the wild. Sing in the wild. Sing in the wild. Sing in the wild. Because of a snowstorm. Because of a snowstorm. 
because of a snowstorm. Because of a snowstorm. In a small cage. In a small cage. In a small cage. It's raining now. It's raining now. It's raining now. It's raining now. Cranky face. <laughs> Cranky face. <laughs> Good say. Yeah, yeah. We yep. Yeah. Cranky face. One family cooped up for years. One family cooped up for years. One family or yeah, okay. Presents one family cooped up for years. Presents one family cooped up for years. Presents one family cooped up for years. Don't coop yourself up. 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 Cranky face. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That was pronunciation, a little bit, just a little bit here and there. Okay, quiz time, everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. So we don't know card one. We don't know card two. We don't know card three, right? We're going to do three cards for the quiz. Three cards for the quiz. I'm going to cover the sentence. So please say the sentence by only looking at the picture. Say the sentence only looking at the picture. Yeah, yeah. Get in the garden. Go to the garden. Work in the garden. Go work in the garden. Okay, here we go. There's a little body bald dancer parrot on the internet video. I don't know, Vilmar. What, what, I don't know what you're talking about, Vilmar. There's a little body bald dancing parrot on the internet, on internet videos. I don't know that one. Okay, three cards. Here's a card. I'm going to cover the sentence. Here we go. Card number one. What is the sentence? This is from Anna. A for Anna. Please write the video or write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat, please. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Nilo says, don't coop yourself up. Marion. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Sewu, the kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Cranky face. Sewu, cranky face. <laughs> Helga, the kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Dr. Maris, the kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Very good. Well done, everyone. Good, Lolly. The kids are cranky after being cooped up in the house all day. Anna, good sentence, Anna. Good sentence, Anna. Okay, here we go. Number two. What is the sentence? This is Marion's sentence. What's the sentence? What is the sentence? Card two. Card two. Please write the sentence in the chat. Please write the sentence in the chat. Card two in the chat. Card two in the chat. 
card to in the chat. It's okay, Tomas. Tomas, you just have your own interpretation, okay? So, Tomas, you don't, don't worry about the exact sentence. You do how you feel. Look at the picture and just write how you, you know, you could have your own sentence. That's, that's cool, Tomas. Just, just practice. Anything's okay, Tomas. Just practice. Okay, Helga, the canary is cooped up in a small cage. Marion, the canary is cooped up in a small cage. Seru, the canary is cooped up in a small cage. Mary says, the canary is cooped up in a small cage. Dr. Ramirez, the canary is cooped up in a small cage. Lolly, Tomas, the canary is not blue. What? The canary is not blue. It's blue right here. Oh, you're saying canaries are not blue? Some, I think they could be blue. I don't know. Let's check the sentence. The canary is cooped up in a small cage. Yes. Good job. Okay, here we go. Number three. Here we go. Last card in the quiz. Last card in the quiz. And it is... Oh, Helga. Interesting. Ah, uh, <laughs> aren't they? Can't they be? Can't they be different colors? Can't they? Can't they be different colors? The the cage is yellow. The cage is yellow. <laughs> the canary is blue, but the cage is yellow. Okay, here we go. What is the sentence? This is Ava's sentence. What is the sentence? Please, this is number three. Write the sentence. Card three in the sentence. Card three in the sentence. Card three in the sentence. Air Lady says canaries are yellow. So everyone says canaries are yellow. <laughs> so, so this is a, a, this is a um, strange canary. Okay, card number three, Dr. Maris. People in prison are cooped up. Samuel, people in prison are cooped up. Marion, people in prison are cooped up. Seiru, people in prison are cooped up. Lolly, people in prison are cooped up. I won't tell why she was arrested. It's a secret, Vilmar. Don't tell anyone. Air Lady says, well, I've never seen a blue canary. Well, I've never seen a blue canary. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, Radu, it's painted. This is a painted blue canary. It's a painted canary. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's check out the sentence. People in prison are cooped up. Yes, this was Ava's sentence. People in prison are cooped up. Yeah, that was step four. Yes, that was the quiz. Well, we did it, everyone. We did it. You did it. Yes. Well, actually, I want to take a picture real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. There is the... My camera's open. I'm going to take a picture. We got our conversation. We have a pattern, yeah? So, and then we have our coop up in us, be in a small area, okay? So let's, let me take a picture. So you can check it out anytime you want to. Here we go, countdown. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Well, I got the picture. I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. 
so you can check it out anytime you want to. All right, yes, yes, you can. It's your choice. It's your freedom to check it out, all right? So um, anyways, it's over two hours. So thank you for being here with me for two hours. Yes, that was very nice of you. And of course, the green team, yes. Monk, Ava, Dr. Ramirez, Tomas, Tetsuro, Marion, Lolly, Sewu. I always forgetting people um, here today. Ava, yeah, um, Dr. Ramirez. So thank you so much, Green Team. And if you want your name in green, if you want to help me and help the channel so I can help you, help me so I can help you, please join the channel. Okay, also I have a Patreon page and we did our conversation from the book. So there are three books. You can get them at amazon.com and I will be back tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do tomorrow. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to show you what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do the grammar wheel. Yes. So we will practice some patterns tomorrow. Right here are patterns, right? Subject will be verb ing. Subject will have verb ed. Subject have has verb ed. We have subject have has been verb ing. Subject had verb ed. So we're going to practice some patterns tomorrow. So if you want to come back tomorrow for the grammar wheel, I will be doing that tomorrow at 10 a.m. this time tomorrow. So anyway, so if you want to do it, Monk, thank you, Monk. Thank you so much. Mwah. Um, okay, so cheers everyone. So have today's Friday, have a great weekend. Tomas, Saturday will be a grammar lesson, yes. So Saturdays we're doing the grammar wheel. Mary, thank you. Flavia, Thank you. Samuel, thank you so much. Vilmar, thank you. Um, Radu, thank you. Air Lady, mwah, have a great weekend, Air Lady. Tetsuro, have a great weekend. Everyone, Lolly, thank you so much, Lolly. Lolly says, join the fabulous green team. Or no, she said, she said the friendly green team. I'm sorry. She had, join the friend, friendly green team. Okay, so um, have a great weekend, everyone. Take care, um, smile, uh, be kind, be like a monk. What does a monk do? A monk cooks, cleans, and prays for world peace. So let's be like monks. Let's cook, let's clean, let's pray for world peace, okay? So um, I will be back tomorrow with the grammar wheel, all right? So I hope to see you. And let's count down to say goodbye, all right? So here we go. Count down together. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, thank you, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Japan time. Bye-bye.